All right, YouTube, this is Two Cent back with my Two Cents on Octopath Traveler. And I just want to bring a video to you guys today explaining kind of like my free to play strategy going forward and uh, kind of what your thoughts might be on that. See if maybe it might be something you might be able to use um, for, for yourself as well. Uh, I also want to point out that we are getting Xanat this week uh, on, on our new update. And uh, also let me know down below if you think we're going to get any updates to the, the skills or the stats on. Uh, on the character it's a pretty good hunter from uh, what i've kind of seen and heard about from the jp side of things so i'm kind of excited anyway let's get into the video all right so a while back i did a video talking about kind of our ruby income uh, on a monthly basis for the game and kind of gave a little bit of uh some forethought or you know kind of my thoughts on uh the strategies that we should be using going forward as a free-to-play player in my kind of you know, sites were set at that point at the Bravely Default collab, which, you know, we all know that kind of controversy that uh, it was only 3,000, uh, you know, rubies to kind of pity a unit uh, for that over in JP. And we thought that was what was going to happen over here in, in Global. Uh, and then the Odell battle, uh, you know, happened and that was a big issue. Uh, but then, you know, they did change that and actually make it even better with the uh, Idea and Anya's banner. So, uh, overall, my plan worked out just fine with that, which was basically uh, spending on just the uh, one or two steps on the step-up banners as they came out, trying to just get lucky off of there, and then uh, have over 3,000 rubies available for the... Uh, uh, the collab banners when they came just so I could guarantee myself some units. Ended up being pretty lucky and came away with all three of the units uh, with, you know, two Odell's and I think three Anya's all together. Uh, sadly, I wanted some more Idea, but I didn't get any more there. Didn't feel like I could spend any more. However, now we're going to be transitioning here. And so roughly once again, uh, we get a monthly amount of about 720 guaranteed rubies uh, every month and that just is kind of like from the dailies and the uh, and what we get in our mail the Kates the eights of the month things like that uh, however there's still the other sources like whatever you're getting for your feats your character uh, side stories uh, the traveler stories uh, your influence uh, anything like that if we're going into maintenance the maintenance compensation things like that um i also you know we've been getting every time they do a tavern talk they've been rolling some dice uh, it doesn't equate out to a whole heck of a lot but a little bit extra always helps so going forward now we've been getting instead of a dual standard banner sort of a traveler step ups that had that 150 gem cost and then it went to 200. We've been going, uh, you know, new characters that have a little bit of a step up, but it starts at that kind of 200 mark and then 250 and then and we, you know, back to our normal costing. So some of the adjustments I'm going to make because uh, I want to be ready in, by mid-February to have as many gems possible saved up. I have my... I don't know thoughts my predictions is that we will have a new collab coming at the end of January into February area uh, and I think it's going to tie in with you know Octopath Traveler 2 coming out it's just my feeling on the matter I could be wrong maybe we'll get near at that point uh, I, who, who knows but I do think that kind of having that three month break in between uh, is where we're going to be kind of settling at for collabs. That's just how Square typically does it with games, uh, is bringing collabs every three months. Uh, so that I think we can make a pretty good prediction that that's when we're going to see the next collab here. So what is going to be our strategy to be able to kind of see what we can pick up along the way and be able to pick up those collab units? So this is basically the mindset that I'm starting out with. If you're not somebody who cares about the collabs. Maybe you can take this mindset and think of uh, a unit that you want to get that's going to, you know, possibly be about, you know, two or three months out. Obviously, we don't know the banner schedule exactly of who's going to come out when. Uh, you know, we can definitely see that with Cyrus has, you know, JP at this point in the game already had Cyrus and we still don't. Granted, we keep hearing that he's going to be soon, so who knows? Maybe, maybe next week he'll he'll be here. But uh, I would think of a unit that's 
uh, came out you know later in uh, in JP that you might be able to say okay that's a unit I definitely want what do I need to do to kind of save up to get to that so with that being said our limited uh, uh, banners like our collabs and our limited units uh, or just our regular units in general I think we're going to start seeing that kind of 6,000 gems being the normal pity going forward uh, because that's what it was on the JP side. I don't think we're going to get collabs the same way that we got Bravely Default. Uh, I would love it if Square <laughs> did that and just surprised all of us to keep the same amount uh, for that, but I don't think that's what they're going to do. I think we're going to be looking at this kind of 6,000 for the rest of the time. So when we're looking at our gym income if we're gonna pull every single week uh, on the on the discounted banner at 200 uh, that's going to be roughly 800 gems a month that we're going to be utilizing to uh, gain uh, you know f you know 40 pulls basically uh, for a shot at units and I think that's pretty much the most that we're going to be able to do and be able to have some currency to save behind that because you know, you're looking at the different sort of traveler stories. Every time they add an arena, you get, you know, a nice little surplus of some rubies there. Uh, but we're looking at maybe another uh, 600 rubies that you're going to be able to acquire from that. So in three months, that's only going to be 1,800 rubies, give or take. I do think, you know, on, on average, it's probably going to be a little bit more than that. But Kind of use that as your kind of gauge once you get up to your saving point because i know there's a lot of people who've been saving for cyrus and they have over six thousand rubies then you're kind of fine you as long as you don't go below that cap you can kind of spend however you want uh, on the other banners however my strategy going forward up until our uh, next collab because I'm going to really care if it's Octopath Traveler 2 and I'm going to care a lot if it's near. That's kind of like the biggest things that I'm kind of looking at. Uh, obviously these other units are going to be great for accounts. Uh, you know, Cyrus is going to be amazing for people. Uh, Cecilia is going to be amazing. There's just going to be a lot of really good units coming out in the future uh, as there should be. That's what happens in every game. But also I think these collab characters are going to be really great as well, especially A2. And I want to make sure that I have uh, kind of a stash saved up for those units because cause they're limited and I, I, I like I like having the limited unit. So you do it however you would like to there. But I think uh, as far as you know where to spend your rubies between now and then, or now until whatever you're saving for, uh, don't go any further than like the first step on a step up banner. Keep that kind of discounted price for yourself. Uh, and if you really don't care for the character or that character couldn't help you at all, uh, maybe you skip at least one uh, every month just to kind of help you get up to that point and just allow yourself to be able to have the opportunity to pity and hopefully that you don't need to pity when that unit comes uh, that you know like I said this was my strategy with bravely default and I was able to get all three characters because I had uh, enough to uh, at least pity one uh, but I got lucky enough that I ended up getting all three so I don't know let me know what you guys kind of think down below. Maybe you're kind of using a different strategy uh, or, or something that I'm always welcome to kind of hear what other free to play players are doing in this game. There's a lot of us out there and uh, <laughs> I, I understand that the Ruby income isn't enough to keep up with all of these banners, no matter how good your luck is, you're just not. And, and the idea of Awakening 4 unit is so far from my mind that I don't know if I'll ever <laughs> be able to uh, to uh, to do it in you know in any good time frame you know for that unit to have some relevancy we'll, we'll just have to kind of wait and see on that uh, with them kind of changing and you know adjusting these new characters I just kind of wanted to put this video out there to kind of help people maybe stay strong a little bit that yes some of these units are getting improved will they make improvements onto your account yes but uh, if you keep your eye on the prize of whatever you're looking forward to in the future, uh, go ahead and make sure you hold back for that and so you aren't disappointed when it comes. You know, uh, I would say that if you know near were to drop next week or something, it's not going to. But if it did, I wouldn't have enough rubies to be able to guarantee uh, myself being able to get A2 and 
uh, I'm certainly not going to just start spending because of it. I think that's the place that most of our free to play players are at. And so it would leave me feeling bad or sad or, you know, whatever, you know, about the game. And uh, I want to avoid that for as many people as possible. Kind of keep the hype for this game going as long as we can. And I just think this is just one way of doing it. Please let me know down below what you think. And that's been my two cents.